Okay, guys, hey, we got ourselves a 63 Chevy, especially as a dragster. And since drag racing season just opened up and everybody done broke out their cars and showing off all the wintertime work they've done on their vehicles, here, I just happened to find this one. It's been here for a while, true enough. But this one here, I never really took the time to do a, a review on it. Up until now, because drag racing season is here. As we look back here, you can see you have your push on, uh, push off button. I should say pull on and push off button for the battery to kill the battery. You also have your battery charging hookups right here. You know. Oh, just check this out. Exhaust pipe comes out the, right in front of the tire on the side. It's always nice to see. You look in through the passenger window here. And look at this setup in here. This is a very clean car, by the way, for a 63. Even though it's a drag racer still. Rear seats are gone, of course. As you can see back there, it's been tubbed. Roll cage. We're going to take a quick look at this information board. You all see the price. It's got a 482 cubic inch V8. Beige on beige. 28,000 undocumented miles. But I'm sure whoever rebuilt this car or built this car put in the hard work to get it to get on the track. Look right down in there, there's your carburetor. Beautiful clean front end of this car. Really nice, really clean. You see your side pipe right there. You look in. They have all your safety equipment right here into this car. Beautiful. As I said, alpha market steering wheel. You got your gauges and your tack, center modules. Big deep rear wheels. As you look back there, classic Chevy rear end. <laughs> this is a very nice vehicle. Sitting here, Gateway Classic Cars in Crete, Illinois. And if you're out here looking for a dragster, give them a call. Okay guys, here we have ourselves a gold color on black 67 Firebird Pontiac, 400 cubic inch. And guess what, it was dynoed at 400 horsepower. Let's look at this clean motor. Very clean engine compartment. This is a restoration. And this thing is so beautiful, man. And this particular Firebird is a restoration, full restoration. It has a new floor and a new trunk and new metal on the, the roof. So they really, they had to rebuild this whole thing. This thing turned, turned out to be so beautiful, man. Got your hood tack. We're gonna take ourselves a look in through the driver. As I was told by the owner, this thing 
is full leather interior. This is beautiful black leather in the back, as well as the front. Her shifter. I mean, you gotta, you gotta appreciate that. it has got a her shifter in it. From the rear, as we look from the driver's side rear, the restoration on this car was done with top-notch work and craftsmanship. Let's take a step back. It has dual exhaust. Everything you will want with a Firebird. And as we can see, you have the Hearst Equip tag right there, your emblem. Both side quarter panels were replaced. Everything that was replaced on this car was all steel, sheet metal. You can't beat that. Look at those Pontiac torque rims. Oh yeah. I know how you guys love the Pontiacs. Can't get enough of them. And this beautiful black leather interior. Okay guys, as soon as I get the info on this car with the mileage and uh, the price after the restoration, I'll be sure to post it for you all. As I said, I know how you love these Pontiacs. I love them too. It's nothing like a nice, beautiful Firebird, man, or an old Trans Am. These cars are hard to beat. And then, you know, them being the sister cars of the, the Camaros, you know, I do love Camaros. Maybe not as much as Mustangs, but these cars are beautiful, man. Okay, guys, as we are now at the Coup de Gras, this beautiful Corvette, man. I know I, I saw it when they brought it in. Well, not on the showroom floor, but when they had just got this beautiful thing. I looked at it and I said, man, that car looks really nice. But they didn't have any information on it. And uh, I didn't know what was what, so I figured I'd just wait to come back. And I'm glad I did. It's all tricked out, man. You see those Lambo doors? You see the light show? I was blown away when I saw that. You guys see the price on it and the specs that go along with this thing. And I was just totally, totally blown. I, when I walked in, I said, look, it's that vet. I saw those lights on there and the rims and the trunk, the doors, the headlights. Somebody took the time to really trick this thing out just right not too much but just enough and man looking at this passenger side everything in this car is immaculate there's nothing wrong with it so i don't have to try to sell you on it <laughs> i'm not a salesman you see it for what it's worth and my god this is a beautiful car beautiful corvette beautiful corvette love those rims on here with the light shining through off the behind the brake system that is, that is just, that's totally nice, man. That's super bad. And I love it that this car is all black. You know, I love the black look on here. The outlaw style. And look at the back. You got the sub worker, uh, subwoofers trimmed with the lights. And you got your regular speakers. And I believe that's a computer screen. Don't get me wrong. Uh, don't hold me to it. But since it wasn't on, I couldn't tell what it was. I thought it was a computer screen. For all as I know, it's probably a flat screen. But uh, <laughs> could be some anything up in there. But the thing is, man, to see all that in the trunk area blew my mind. I said, oh my God, this is, well, whoever put this into, they knew what they were doing, well thought of before they started. Yeah, you got your gas door right there. Driver's side, man. You get in there trying to look at the speedometer to see what it would read. Because, man. This thing was so beautiful. I'm like, man, you can't, it's, 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 it's just remarkable what you could do with cars. As you see the lights are all up under the door with those Lambo style doors, man. Chevy didn't even think to put this on these cars. I wish they had it coming right out the factory. 
They probably would have sold way more. You got that LS motor in there, man. I'll tell you, man. Woo! These Corvettes are nice. Later, guys.